Okay, so here we are. Um, we are assuming that Din and uh, the child will be going to Tython. The recap deliberately showed the scene from season one where the unknown person wearing spurs walked up to that body. And uh, that worries me because that was a hanging thread which I had maybe mistakenly assumed had been solved by the fact that we saw Boba on Tatooine in season two, but maybe not. Let's see. We know Din's being tracked, so that's going to be an issue. I don't think they're going to get to this temple without incident, which is a shame because I really do want to see what kind of force visions we get, but... Oh. 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 No, he never stops being cute. Mm. No, no, he's sticking with you, Mando. Oh, he wants him to want to go. This is like some of the. This is like some of the first parts of the show where Din has treated Grogu like he's like a, a person. You know what I mean? Like he always, I don't want to say he kind of treated him like a pet before, but it was a little bit like that. But now he's talking to him and like trying to get input back from him. The tragedy. So I wonder if that means we're going to see the flashback as to what happened at the Jedi Temple that day. It's not much of a temple compared to the ones we've seen in Rebels and Clone Wars. Looks like we're going to have to travel the last stretch with the windows down. <laughs> Even though that metaphor makes no sense in Star Wars, it's, I still laughed. You got me. It does look very much like some of the chambers in the temples we've seen, though. See, this is... Whenever I discuss this show with my friends, I can never get over how good they are at the details and making this feel like Star Wars. Like, when he was coming in, I said, oh, it's not much of a temple. Like, we've seen much bigger, more opulent things in the animated series. But when you get close and see the details, it reminds you of the central chamber of the big temple on Lothal. It reminds you of the various places you go in Fallen Order. It reminds you of various force temples we've seen in the animated series and even in some comics. Like, just every little thing is so good. They keep knocking out of the park on the details. It's a very short episode too, so I'm actually kind of scared. It does. It does, Din. No. Oh. Don't give Grogu bad flashbacks. Did you see that blue butterfly? It's very conspicuous. There we go. Uh oh. Oh no! It's Slave One! Yes! Boba came after him. Kid's gonna have his visions when Din's not even there. Oh my goodness. Boba's ship was still on Tatooine that whole time. Whoa, oh! Oh jeez. See, look how much that looks like Fallen Order. The music here and the feeling is really, really good. Whoa. Heavy repeater. He's after his armor that you took. You're telling me in all that time from Return of the Jedi, even though Boba knew where his armor was at, he didn't go get it? What was his reason for not getting it from Cobb Vanth? Ah. He just wants the armor, dude. Just give it to him. Ooh. Droid guts. 
Just give it to him, man. Quit being a zealot. Yep. Uh, the tracker. Heck. Get the jetpack, dude. What's he seeing in there? The look of it is so perfect. It'd be nice if these two take out the Imperials for him. He's straight up gonna gaffy somebody. Boom! I never thought I'd see Boba Fett gaffy clubbing people. And uh, now I'm gonna make several of my friends happy if they see this video. This is the most action Boba Fett's ever gotten on screen. <laughs> Besides uh, maybe uh, in Clone Wars. But in the movies, he never even had a single um, action sequence for all of the mystere, mystique around his character. All he did was get thrown into the Sarlacc pit. Uh-oh. Oh my gosh. The yellow uh, Stormtrooper commanders. It's like we got the um, the blue Incinerator troopers last season. They're just bringing everything into live action. Uh-oh. E-Web! He kept firing all the way to the end. Stormtrooper discipline. Oh, he's hateful. He's he's mad. Just take the armor, dude. It's there. That was cool. These action sequences are so good. Because if he had his jetpack on, this wouldn't be a problem at all. What's he seeing? I want to know. Just stand there and tank it. <laughs> Mobile cover? <laughs> Never thought you'd use a Mandalorian for that, right? Oh, Boba with his own armor again. Oh, that's unexpectedly good. I didn't expect that to be so good for me. This is literally the biggest action scene Boba Fett's ever been in. Yet another Boba costume to start working on right away. <laughs> nice. Cool. <laughs> Whoop. Well, that's not going to get fixed. Goodbye, Razor Crest. Good thing Boba's armor got rescued from it first, huh? So, the Razor Crest is destroyed. Completely destroyed. That means we're going to be riding on Slave 1 to get out of here. I like that. Momentarily. They are, and they're even calling them Dark Troopers. They're not even, they're like, no. They're not kind of like Dark Troopers. They're not a reference to Dark Troopers. They just straight up are, we're just going to call them Dark Troopers. Yeah, and they look just like them! What? Oh. Goodbye, kid. <sighs> now Din's going to have to go after uh, the imps to get him back. Slave 1 <laughs> looks so good. I've always loved that ship. It's such a cool design. Surprised they let him get that close. The spear. It was on board a ship, right? <laughs> Why do you hurt me like that, show? <clears throat> you gotta keep it so you can give it back to him, buddy. Yep, there's the spear. Okay. I wonder if looking at Mandalorians reminds Boba of his dad. Ooh, -hoo -hoo. yes. I like this. Slave one. That's an upgrade from the Razor Crest. I like that. Uh oh. <laughs> you turned him in. You really gonna get him? Why do you think he can help specifically? They have the kid. 
Okay. Rules destroyed. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Did you ever think you'd see a Star Destroyer going through hyperspace in a TV show? In real, like a live action TV show? When you say the imps are back though, that's not like... This isn't in a Mark II Star Destroyer. Like, this is a pretty light vessel for it to be called the Empire is back. It's a pretty light vessel to be his flagship for that matter. Or did the Force Visions, like, unchain him? Oh, that's creepy. Have you ever seen one of these? Oh, jeez. Don't touch it. Ooh, the last two episodes are gonna be action-packed. This episode was action-packed. It was only, like, 37 minutes long or something. Oh, the Dark Troopers look so good. So in the same episode, we get the triumphant return of Boba Fett, the return of Fennec, the return of the... That Force Temple sequence looked great. We get the baby kidnapped. I don't know how they're going to get out of this. First off, I don't know how they're going to track the Star Destroyer, Gideon's Star Destroyer. I would like a name for that vessel, by the way. That would be good if you could give me that next episode show. Um, wow, yeah. I mean, you when you see a short episode in this show, there's no indication that it's not good. The short episodes are can cram in just as much as the long ones. You know, as long as they're not trying... Like, last episode was longer because they were trying to do a lot of long, like, very atmospheric shots... This episode was like, hit it, get the action in. I really enjoyed it.